Now, there are, however, new signs indicating just how serious the feds appear to be about the sex trafficking investigation involving Trump ally and GOP Florida Congressman Matt Gates. It's been a busy week for Matt Gates. The U.S. congressman from Florida is running into all sorts of issues with the law. And being the legal analyst that I am, I've got two big updates for you. Welcome into Two IT Overruled. I am your host, Adrian Lawrence. Here are the updated deets on the mockery that is Matt Gates. First up, the Justice Department just added two top prosecutors to Matt Gates's case. Which case, you ask? Well, the one reportedly involving him having sex with a 17-year-old girl in exchange for money and bringing her over state lines, something I believe is referred to as child sex trafficking. One of the two big prosecutors added to Gates's case is a top leader of the Public Corruption Unit at DOJ, other public corruption investigator with an expertise in child exploitation crimes. Adding these two prosecutors signals that the Gates investigation is a high stakes matter with a lot of complexity. And this comes after Gates's former friend, Joel Greenberg, pleaded guilty to corruption, fraud, and sex trafficking of the same 17-year-old girl that Gates is accused of trafficking. Greenberg's facing a minimum of 10 years in prison, but his sentencing will be delayed until March 2022, as he'll likely try to turn on as many shady folks as he can in exchange for less time in the pen. And I'm sure Gates is lawyered up. So speaking of lawyering up, Second, it looks like Gates is no longer going to be practicing law anytime soon. The graduate of William and Mary Law School is no longer eligible to practice law in Florida, and for reasons that were entirely preventable. Indeed, Gates failed to pay the fees to the Florida Bar. That's the organization that oversees lawyers in the Sunshine State. Mind you, the fee is a mere $265. I say mere because in Cali it's like $500. Anyway, when asked about the failure to pay, uh, well, Gates chalks it up to a career change. That's according to the Daily Beast. But then the 39-year-old supposed convict to be tried to fix the oops. According to the same publication, after our story published, Gates on Friday morning rushed to file a signed petition to get reinstated and pay the $265 fee plus another $200 in late fees, according to the Professional Association. Despite having a team of staff members to assist him in his daily duties and his professional life, Gates has been delinquent twice in the past two years under his Florida bar. Now, it's uncommon for attorneys to be delinquent for failing to pay fees. What that signals to me is that Gates isn't really taking his license that seriously. But I'm also guessing it's because he has a few things on his mind. That's it for updates on Matt Lewis Gates II Esquire. Now post in the comments below and hit the like or follow button and thank you for watching.